but no problem casting this guy. That's two ounces. It's a little flick. No, no overrun or nothing. Like I said, these reels will teach you how to fish. Can we see if we get a bite? With monkey brains. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I got two rigs. Let me show you what I'm using today. I have a my Pen 77 Seahawk um, with a high-low rig, and I have the Pen 85, and I have a I guess that would be a, a Montauk rig. This is a three-way rig, kind of. Um, so I got small hooks on this one. I'm just high-low rigging with the Pen 77 Seahawk. Um, get big fish with that too. And this one, I'm working with the Pen 85. It's a pen kind of day. And uh, I do have three ounces on this one. And I ran this trace long, maybe for fluke. And uh, this one, whatever's on the bottom, snappers or whatever, could change that up later. But this is how I'm rigging today. This is what I'm fishing with. And uh, I'm gonna get started. Yeah, well, it's open I'm gonna give it a try here. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> this is old model. I'm going to stretch it out. I got the pen, 77 Seahawk. I can cast that out there good. I'm going to my reel. Let's see what it can do. So I'm just going to give my model a real good stretch. 25 pounds. Rig up here. Getting ready to rig up and fish. Do some pier fishing. We got sea bass. Weird. I'll give it a little longer. It's kind of getting ready to get out of here. I'm going to be using some squid today. And I got some clam. So squid is great for the fluke and everything else. Clam too. So who knows what's out there. What we got here? All right, there's and sea bass around. I think the water's going to go in the other direction, so maybe something will happen. So until then, just kind of feeling it out, seeing what's going on. Put it up down there. This is really all the reel you need. Um, like I said, it's got all you need. Got the bolts and the gears. The nuts in the gears, and that's about it. And uh, and a clicker. But these are your reels. They'll teach you how to fish. Oh wow, that's a nicer one. A little bigger sea bass. So I was going to get ready to go. Maybe we'll stick it out. So good rip there, good rip close to the pier. Could be anything. I was thinking about leaving, but picked up a couple little sea bass, so I've been getting some life on the floor. So right now I'm just working close in. And I'm going to walk that bait. See if there may be under. I like to hang underneath on those pillars be flukes. Definitely I saw snappers. Lots of snappers. I like it here. See we're right on the edge of those weeds and the water's moving and it just stills out in here right in this oh we just had a good bite. It comes back. Might have took both my baits. See what he took. Definitely had a good bite there. Went after the clam, after the clam. So I'm gonna put a clam on and see if we can get him up. 
see if we can see what was taking my baits. Send it right down. You keep your thumb on that spool. There's no bells and whistles on this here reel. No any reverse, no drag. It does have, oh, there we go. It does have a clicker. It's down there. I took my clam again. The next one we're gonna get them, so. There's some light turning about, so. Yeah, he got it. He got my clam. I'm gonna have to cut more clam. That's a big piece. I'm gonna trim this guy down. That's a tough, tough piece of clam. I'm gonna cut and see what's down there. I want that top hook. I told you we'll get him. Whoa, he's running, he's running. Whoa, what is he? That's a nice fluke. That's a nice fluke, that's what he was. All right. So I'm glad we stuck this out. That's what I'm telling. He's a fluke and sea bass. That's great. He went for the clam. Maybe because it's just... Ooh, went off like a bandit. I just seen a fluke come right up there. It came up to the top. Anybody okay. catching anything? Oh, some little fluke, sea bass. Yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, maybe when the water stills up, turns around, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Do we'll some Thank you. <laughs> Feels like something good. You see? Ooh! Nice fluke. Nice fluke. We're working the clams. They seem to like the clam better. Get the hook out. Show you the hooks and stuff. They're a little smaller than I was using the other day. You can see a fluke and sea bass on the old pier with the old rod. The bells and whistles real. This is just fun fishing. There's some activity, and uh, we might have had a bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You get those bites sometimes, those little fish come around. Those bigger fish out there see activity. They come in and they chase them away and grab it. Might have taken my bait, so. That they did. Oh, oh, wow, we got a big puffer. That's what's taking the bait. Puffer. I'm gonna go. Go up on the hooks. And I think I might just clip him off. Yeah, I'm just gonna clip him off. And I'm gonna put on number four hooks. I'm gonna retie. And uh, get a bunch of those. Maybe we'll keep them. <laughs> Most certainly, if you start fishing with this here Pen 77 Seahawk or just a direct drive reel with no bells and whistles, they're going to teach you how to fish like you've never fished before. It's all, all in the thumb. Your brakes in the thumb, your drags in the thumb. The nice thing is, you can pick up and 
in the line back. I don't have to worry about that clutch. That is really, really great way to fish and great way to learn how to fish. So I'm just enjoying this setup today. But, uh, uh, some small fluke and then uh, puffer fish, uh, little sea bass. Um, they are around. Just a, yeah, he caught a little sea bass, but it was so little. You know. Yeah, yeah, and one little bigger one. But yeah, yeah I'm gonna, there's a little pier over there. It's a little quieter, yeah, so I'm going to check that out. This is like uh, tents over here with all this stuff. Yeah, that's right. why. I'm, yeah, I was kind of picking them up until okay, they started until rolling they out. All right. But there's like a quiet little pier on that corner. I'm going to go check out. On this corner? Yeah, at the oh, other end. At the other end. Yeah, you kind of. today. <laughs> 